Life Portrait Drawing by Alexander Rishkin Part 3 In this video, we will complete the portrait drawing in the three-quarters view. The portrait is almost complete, and now we can work patiently on small details, portraying features and textures. The throat influences the geometry of the neck. It is protruding at the front, and it is good to mark its contours. Closer to the pit of the neck, the throat is fully dipping into the neck, which changes the character of contours. At the end of drawing, you can once again use wide pencil strokes to unite big areas and planes of the head. Such a cycle, from big areas to small details and back to big areas, can be repeated as many times as you need. It's time to mark the shoulders. It is very important to make sure that the right and left shoulder are formed by one continuous outline, as if we see this line through the fully transparent neck. The same approach is used for the collarbone lines. They form the foundation of the neck. I won't go into too much detail about the model's clothing, as it is secondary and should not attract too much of a viewer's attention. With these final free-flowing lines, we can finish this portrait drawing. It is not fully rendered, but it is complete, and we have achieved the creative and educational task of this lesson.